Well, hello and welcome back. Today we have an example of a Colt 1908 uh, 25 ACP pocket hammerless. Now, today we're going to be looking at the uh, military issues of these pistols. This particular example that I have in front of me right here is a serial number uh, 407,000 range. And uh, this one would have been made in 1939 to 1940. Now this one here has a US property stamp right here on um, the right hand side of the pistol opposite of course the serial number on the left hand side. But uh, the uh, things we do know about these are that the OSS issued over 200 of these and um, other units issued them as well, the CIC, the CID, ONI, G2, etc. And they were all purchased from uh, distributors or retailers. Uh, none were obtained from the factory. And because of that, none of them were originally marked U.S. property. And we know for a fact that the uh, OSS did not mark them. And it was highly unlikely that any other unit during World War II marked them. So what happened was after uh, World War II, during the uh, time that uh, everything was being gathered back, uh, the stuff that was found to have not been marked with the U.S. property stamps were accordingly marked at that point in time. Now we know this to have happened to some uh, Smith and uh, Wesson revolvers, but uh, unfortunately there's been some of these that were marked U.S. property that were known to have not had markings prior. They kind of uh, disappeared for a little while. They were previously known examples and then they resurfaced marked U.S. property. Well those for certain were not originally marked by the government so that's an example of a forgery that was done to uh, bring its value up to the military collecting end of these. So there were also there was also a dealer that admitted marking about a dozen of them years ago and uh, so that calls into question most of these because there's no real way to know which ones were really marked by the government. And the forgeries also have, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the back of this, but this has the uh, ordnance wheel on it also here, right above the uh, grip safety. And uh, unfortunately, you, j you just can't know with these pocket 25s. Now there is one that has lettered from Colt with the U.S. property marks on it but there are no shipments, no records of them being shipped from Colt with that mark. So the whole thing about these is who knows if it's really a US property one or not. It really throws it all into question. But um, we do know that these were used by the military. Uh, several different units used them and now uh, who knows which ones are real and which ones aren't. So there you go, the confusing story of the U.S. property marked 1908 Pocket 25s. Uh, really quite an interesting story. It would probably uh, keep me from wanting to uh, pay a high dollar for one. But anyway, there you go, another little footnote in Colt Automatic History. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in.